we are really looking at ancient underwater landscapes. To understand the modern Great Barrier Reef, you have to actually look into the past and look at these ancient landscapes because this is the base upon which the Great Barrier Reef has grown. And nobody knew that this was here. This is the first time that we're seeing bathymetry images of the seafloor here in this region and then the ROV video to go with it so we can see what it actually looks like down there. To try and explain what we're seeing, if you imagine if you took the Grand Canyon and added on the Niagara Falls times two and then flooded that with seawater and stuck a coral reef on top. In some places we're really scratching our heads just to try and understand how do you explain this? But certainly we're looking at something that is far, far older than the actual Great Barrier Reef itself. Now when we put the ROV down to have a look, what we are seeing are numerous, I'm talking dozens and dozens of large drowned reefs. We have to go back in the past to times where sea level was not at the same position that is now. We have reefs growing at sea level, very close to sea level, but the sea level rise, 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 and they finally get drawn. One thing that we see when, when a reef is drawn is the sequence of organisms that are living on that reef. If it starts with shallow water coral species, if sea level rise a bit, that coral species are substituted by a bit deeper coral species. If sea level continues to rise, the biology change. We can more or less estimate the, the speed of the sea level change in the past. So we can compare if those sea level changes occur at the same speed that they are occurring now. So we can say if it's a natural process or it's an anthropogenic induced process. But living on and amongst all of this, this deep landscape are really quite amazing animals. The deeper we go, the weirder it gets. Almost everything we see is a new observation that's never been seen in this region before, or even a new species, an undescribed species, or even a genus. For me, it's very interesting to see how the community changes as the geology changes. Uh, so the geology dictates what type of habitat it is and therefore what type of community will colonise. Well, we try to understand because it helps us understand the Great Barrier Reef itself. They are intimately joined. The shape of that ancient underwater landscape is related directly to how the Great Barrier Reef grows on it. And so what we're looking at is a really remarkable landscape. Like, I have never seen such an amazing seafloor.